Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, a very very quick one, so let's get into it. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's go guys. So, two little changes that are actually kind of big uh, in today's update that I really wanted to talk a little bit about it. They finally did it guys, they finally did it, they finally added battle tasks for tanks and aviation simulation battles. Oh my god, this has been a request for a lot of play players at that play simulator for a very long time. Like, I don't know how much time. It's been a while, you know? And then they added a limitation on the duration of the Prandil. Uh, Prandit? I, I don't know how do we pronounce this word in English. Uh, it's not very, you know what I mean? Uh, effect as well as the interval between launches of these effects. So let's take a look on that as well okay but first let's take a look on this so let's take a look um i i mean i would imagine that it was going to be here but how do i actually take a look maybe it's going to be working in the next one that i think it's like uh what is um what is the day that this thing actually oh there you are so yeah basically what you have here for example uh, basically, you have the uh, battle tasks for the battle pass, basically, or whatever you want to do with this, because you can get the, the the stuff on the shop as well. But now you have three options over here, as you see, realistic, simulator, and arcade. So, for example, destroy player vehicles using a fighter. Three of them, fairly easy. Um, win a required number of battles with needed activi uh, activity percent. Pretty cool as well. So finally, finally, guys, oh my god, this, I mean, seriously, this, this was a request for players for a very, very long time. So now let's just test it out to the new effects uh, on the F-16 over here, it doesn't matter the aircraft, uh, just to check it out, because apparently it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I think it's just a smaller duration of the vapor effect at Mach 1, so let's take off and test it out. So... We have our Mitsubishi F2, our fake Mitsubishi F2 over here. Let me just drop this. Get some speed. Come on. Come on, baby. Accelerate. I wish they actually added for a more realistic way if you have humidity in the air or something like that. Because it doesn't always happen. Let's see. Yes, I don't know. It doesn't feel that. Let me let me try to maintain. And so when you deaccelerate, it's not doing it. Why didn't you accelerate it? Oh, so it's pretty different actually. It's not gonna happen all the time. That's actually pretty interesting. So if you just go through with it. Like the acceleration, it will just go. And then if you disaccelerate, let me try to accelerate a lot. And then disaccelerate to see if we can feel it. If we can see it. Let's go until like Mac. Oh, it did it again? At Mac 1.0, wait. That's weird. Let's see. Um... Yeah, it's not doing it. See, it's not doing it. So they completely changed it. I think they added kind of a limiter or something like that in the files. I will check it out. But this is very, very cool, actually. This is uh, a little bit... It does help a little bit. Because sometimes it's just annoying how much vapor you see in this thing, man. It's cool, but it, it kind of gets in the way, you know. It really gets in the way sometimes. Funny that it's not, it did like two times, once in Mac 1 and once in Mac 1.8. But anyway, it's a little bit different. It should be happening less than before, which helps a lot. Let's see. Yeah, when you deaccelerate, apparently it doesn't, it never happens. And when you accelerate, most of the time it will happen. So very, very cool. Let me just check one thing. Yeah, no, I, I tried to find if there was anything in the data, uh, anything in the data mines talking about this, but they are just saying that there are limitations for it. 
uh, so it should be a little bit more realistic. Hopefully in the future they add something about uh, the air humidity because it needs to have uh, some form of humidity in the air to actually do this effect. Uh, it's not every single time that it works. So maybe they should do it like at, at a certain altitude, um, depending on the map, you know, in the desert map, it would never happen. Uh, but above the sea, it would always happen. Uh, you know, if you're close to the ground in a green map, a map that does have vegetation, maybe it should happen. Uh, you know, it's a minor thing, uh, and I really think they should focus on adding the vapor clouds to the wings before even doing something like that. But still, it would be very, very cool to see. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, and I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See ya.